Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Josh Noel, Sunduck Film, and you're shooting a video outside and you're hoping for a cloudy, overcast day where you would have beautiful, diffused lighting. However, the sun decided to shine and it's super bright outside. So what do you do to make harsh lighting look flattering for your talent? My first solution falls down to diffusion and ultimately the 8x8 butterfly scrim from Digital Juice. Let's hop right in the video and see what I'm talking about. And we have our lovely talent, Madison, and she's struggling with the sunlight right now as it is very hard and pretty much blinding her face completely. And overall, this is really an unflattering image from a lighting perspective. You have very hard shadows. And of course, it's probably a little bit exaggerated as we are facing the sun. And with the unlikely event that we would have to stick with this background, uh, we would have to call upon diffusion to make this shot look good and not blinding. So let's go ahead and rock up the diffusion. And boom, everything is so much better. We're no longer blinded by the sun. We're not getting any of those harsh shadows that the sun was creating, much more soft contrast. And overall, this image is a lot more usable and we can look directly at the sun with this 8x8 diffuser over our talent. And before and after, you can see that the shadows and the highlights are way more controlled with the scrim and we have a much better image. And as you can see, the 8x8 scrim is optimal for exterior scenes and also it comes with a black cloth so you can do any negative fill or what I like to do is block off windows in which I can't control for example if they don't have blinds and as you see right here we have a scene where the light is coming in through the windows we don't have any control over that all this is natural light coming in and let's say we wanted to control that so, so what we can do is put the 8x8 black cloth on and block up the window and now we can just use our interior lights and start shaping the light as we see fit. So there's a lot of control in this 8x8 frame with the scrim and also with the black cloth. There's a huge benefit of using an 8x8 frame over say a 4x4 frame in the sense that you can have a much softer light with the scrim or you can be able to block off a larger area with the black cloth. So if you're interested in seeing how this entire thing is set up, let's take a look inside of the Digital Juice Butterfly 8x8 frame. Out of the box you get the 8x8 white screen, the 8x8 black screen, two frame holders, 28 bungee cords, the foldable frame which can fit in the trunk of your car, and of course two nice carrying cases to keep all the gear together. And finally you're going to need two C-stands to hold this beast together. Putting the frame together is very easy and I've been able to do it by myself, however I do suggest that there should be two people to put it together. So the first things first, you open up the frame and you can uh, clamp each of the hinges together. From there you can clamp on the two C-stand frame holders very easily and then attach them to the C-stands. Then open up one of the screens and you can use the elastic bands to clamp onto the frame. And finally from there you can use the bungee cords to hold the entire scrim into place. And boom you are ready to go. And overall my final thoughts on the 8x8 scrim is that I absolutely do love this frame. I love something that's this big and it has so much uh, versatility in what it can do. Uh, to be able to diffuse you know, a group of talent you know, with a sun by an 8x8 and keep that light extremely soft because the scrim is large and to be able to have a large negative fill or to block off windows is extremely awesome. I absolutely do love that. Now I do think the cost might scare some people and that's totally understandable. I don't think this is a product you should buy if it's you know, your first year of filmmaking and you're just starting off. Uh, definitely down the road when you're doing you know outdoor interviews or outdoor projects that need to be perfect. You can't take any risk with the sun. Of course, there's a lot of DIY solutions and of course low cost solutions and smaller frames that you can use. So I hope you found this video insightful as far as shooting outside in direct sunlight. So if you did enjoy the video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel for more filmmaking videos just like this, and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And as always, I hope you have a good day. And a shout out to my team for helping me put this video together.